egg industry. <clears throat> the egg industry is next to the dairy industry. They suck pretty hard. We get told eggs are healthy and eggs are great for the body. They're an amazing uh, protein source and especially when you work out and you're not losing weight and low carb and high protein and all of that stuff that we believe more in because we are egotistic assholes and want to look good. We don't think about where the egg comes from, who makes it. And what happens to the chicken when you take her egg away? If you're not vegan, you probably think the egg lays the, the chicken lays the egg anyway, right? And I thought that too. And we even have chickens. And well the the chicken lays the egg, a wild chicken, a wild hen would lay around seventeen eggs a year. This is normal this is for a normal wild chicken that is not overbred in a direction so that it suits the needs for the humans now a chicken lays around those hardcore chickens uh, lay around 300 eggs a year compared to 17 they got bred in a direction so again that they fit what we expect what what the what the breeder needs what the farmer wants what we want is money we don't want that other people are very healthy or even healthy or pff, they don't care a little bit. They care about the money that comes in for the product that they sell. They don't care about you as the customer and they don't care about, really not, about the chickens who make the product. So the thing that produces the product gets treated very, very, very worst. The chicken lays the egg anyway that's correct but the chicken lays the egg and if we wouldn't take it away every day they would stop at some point the chicken keeps laying eggs because we feed the right food we feed food that makes them produce more that makes the shell harder makes it what we are doing from the chicken is stealing and that is just not as okay as killing is those chickens in those in, the, in those uh, batteries and stuff, you know, they're really the bad ones where everyone knows that they are the bad ones. These are the eggs that you don't buy, even if they are the cheapest. These chickens, well, they are born, you know, and if they are a boy, they get shredded within a few days, two, three days dead. We don't need them. We can't do anything with them. This is why we kill them. If you're a male chicken, you have a very, very short life. You're dead within two days. If you're a girl, they put you in a cage and you have about 30 other buddies around you and you, you the only reason you're alive is to produce eggs. You don't see sunlight, you never, you never see sunlight, you don't have fresh air, you can't walk around. You sit in a metal cage and the only thing you're good for is to produce eggs. And when you lay that egg, it just done and then they wait for the net. But I mean, we know that those battery farms, they are bad. We know that. This is why free range is so much better. Free range basically means they have half a square meter more room. Uh, it, it means they see the sunlight. That That's true too. If they are organic free range, it means they don't add uh, rubbish to their food. What they don't tell you is that they kill them after nine months. If they are lucky and in a different country, it's maybe one to two years. And the farmer, the organic free-range farmer calls the, the chicken's unhappy day. The chicken's unhappy day is after average a year. Just because it can't produce that amount of money-making product anymore. And this is why the farmer says, hug you, dead. And just because it doesn't make more. I mean, it's like if you have a job and you're very good at your job and then there is another person who does your job a bit better. It would be unfair even if they fire you. But I mean, if you're chicken, they kill you. You are dead just because you can't work as hard anymore as, when, as you could when you arrived there, when you were little. 
There is then of course still the last option of uh, you have your chickens in your backyard and then you sing songs to them and you're happy and they are happy and they can run on the grass and they can pack the worms out of the soil and that is all great. But what we forget is the chicken at some point we have to buy the chicken. So what that means is you keep that whole breeding thing going because even if even if you buy the chicken and put it in your backyard and never ever ever take the eggs away from that chicken you already you know you already bought it which means you give money to the farmer to the person who breeds the chickens and you know it all keeps going keeps going it's like puppies or kittens and we have dogs we have cats we made the same mistake but since we know since we found out about all of this we we just you know, we we didn't kill our dogs and our cats and our chickens and our ducks just because we now know. But definitely we will not buy, buy, I mean buy, how can you, you cannot buy a human. It's illegal in most countries to buy humans. Why do we think we can buy pets? It is so weird how it is that clear now to understand where before I, before I went vegan, I, I was like, the leader of the idiots with my good points. <laughs> dumb, really, really dumb. But that shows that, I mean, you can you can have the wrong idea and you can make mistakes and you can not know that is okay. But as soon as you know, it is the right time and the best thing to do is to change that. You have a choice every single day what you eat and what you consume. And Knowing and still not changing anything, I think, is the very worst. I mean, diet is a is a free choice, but it's not really diet. It to me, it's much, 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 much more what we're doing. Since since we are vegan, my husband and I, uh, I live so much more guilt free just by knowing that I didn't harm anyone today. I didn't kill anyone today. Uh, nobody had to suffer just because I want to eat meat and drink a glass of milk and later I want a slice of cheese and I also want some honey and you know uh, even if I want it I just now know that I don't have the right to take it and this leads to when you have your chicken in your backyard um, so you have it and, and they're already there and they lay the eggs and you take them away so the chicken lays more eggs because what it sees what what the chicken is a mother well it's not it doesn't come that far but it would be a mother the chicken lays the egg and would sit on the egg if you leave it there you know if you have a, a rooster too and you know how it works the chicken lays the egg and if it doesn't if it gets taken away for the chicken it's like oh it's stolen i have to make more because i want to be a mother i mean i don't know if they have emotions and feelings like that maybe that's a bit too too extreme uh but but fact is that we are stealing from the chickens and we cannot steal you cannot you can they, they are making their products and we humans come and take it away i mean that is not okay if if we could make a product like something amazing and then an elephant shows up and takes it away we wouldn't like that either stealing is not okay and it doesn't matter if it's a human you steal from or an animal so if that still does not hold you back from eating eggs i recommend watching a video where you see the chicken laying that egg that you really want it's so gross it's so gross and it's it's a natural thing it's i mean you know the chicken does it anyway right so we should also watch it i really think every product we think we want to eat we have the right to eat or whatever have a look how it's made and how it comes out and maybe that will stop you a while from eating eggs i found it extremely disgusting i will put a link though um for everyone who thinks that eggs are made for humans, I hope when you see it that you're a little bit disgusted at least. Just just the least. A little bit. Just a little bit gross, because it is gross. And when you hear the sound they make with it, you just think, well of course it hurts. It ugh. sometimes when I looked at the eggs 
how deformed they were, like with rings and stuff. And I thought, wow, that must have hurt. And they don't have a choice, you know. You take it away. They think, oh, my egg is gone. I make a new one. We are stealing from the chicken, from the end product they make. And also we are stealing from the chicken's body. It takes a lot of nutrition for the chicken to, to make to make the egg you know all of the nutrition everyone says is in the egg it is not in the chicken's body anymore because the chicken put it in the egg and then we take it away this is not how it works if you have your chickens and you decide okay they are theirs I don't take it away anymore and the chicken doesn't know what to do with it make a little hole the chicken will probably start eating the inside of the egg to get the stuff back in the body Eggs to me was the last thing I thought, Phew, I don't know if I can get used to not having eggs. Not because they taste so amazing, even though they are good. It, it is true, I mean, they taste good, it's not a lie. It's not like vegans say all of the food that we ate before now tastes disgusting. This is not the reason, I don't think that anybody turns vegan for that. Maybe the meat thing, but then you're just a vegetarian and still not a vegan. The difference between, for me personally, the difference between vegetarian and vegan to me is... The vegans know what the vegetarians don't know yet. And it's not a big step to go to that last thing, that last part. And then you're super happy. From vegetarian to vegan can't be that hard. should give it a try.